Hi guys, you welcome to the Laurel Studios. Uh, this is another episode of Android programming. I will be looking at the widget shutdown application in Android. Uh, this is a widget application whereby it's actually going to uh, shut down the application when clicked. Okay, you need to configure it like uh, set up the particular widget from the widget uh, drop down, which is the shutdown application. And it's going to be included in your widget session so you can be able to use it in the course of your uh, of using your device you know it's actually sh it's actually going to shut down the uh, device all right I'll be moving straight to Android studio uh, the development environment for this application our uh, first of all we we'll look at the build scripts which is the build gradle the model app session okay uh, we don't have any dependencies here. We only have the compiler SDK, which is version 16, and the build tools 23.0.2. All right, let's look at the build project, which is the project session. We have the class part, uh, the build gradle 1.5.0. All right, uh, we'll be looking at the REST folder, which is the uh, the layout files, which is the UI of the application. We have the activity.xml, which is the UI. All right, uh, there's a linear layout with the layout with an I just match parent and the orientation is vertical. Okay, let's look at the main XML. All right, uh, we have the linear layout, right, with a few, with a few parents for the width and height. And another relative layout with the layout height wrap content and uh, the layout width match parent. We are sending an ID to it called relative layout one. Okay. This is actually sitting in an horizontal format with the margin right on top 10 dps and 8 dps respectively okay uh we have the button uh with an id call button shut down all right um calling from the variable button shut down selector okay uh we have an image view of the button screen of id and also is calling from the drawable uh button screen selector okay we get to see this drawable files uh we have the button restart which is the last button of this ui uh also calling from the drawable uh button okay button screen of rather okay we have the closing relative layout and also the closing linear layout uh let's look at our values or well, we have the strings dot xml okay we only have the hello and the app name which is the widget shutdown application we have another XML, which is the widget uh, XML. Okay, we have the tag app widget provider. That's very important if you want to include a widget into your application. You need the widget.xml with the app widget provider uh, tag. Okay, there's a minimum width for this uh, widget and a minimum height, which is 294 dp and 72 seven dp. Okay. There is an update. There is an update period made in milliseconds. No, this is, like, this is just like 18 seconds. And there is an initial layout calling from the layout main XML. We've talked about that XML. All right, let's look at the drawables. Where we have the restart PNG. Okay, uh, we have the screen off PNG as much. Okay. And we have the shutdown PNG. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll be actually be uploading the source code to my GitHub account so that you can actually. Uh, either clone it or download the zip file okay we'll be going straight to the java class where we have the uh the different classes we talk about the widget shutdown the shutdown class the screen off and also the restart and globals uh x uh class okay let's look at the widget shutdown uh java class it imports uh the app widgets you no know, provider and the app widget manager both and also the power manager is from the android os uh, library and the remote views for the widget the widget shutdown extends app widget provider uh, we have refused declared the pending intent the remote views and also the power manager which is the wake the wake lock okay we have the update uh, method with parameters context app widget manager and also the app widget ids calling the super on update updating the widget based on the parameters passed in and now we're going to assign this to the remote by instantiating with the new remote uh, views giving it an object we get the 
package name and also the layout main. Now we're going to do a for loop around this uh, with a counter variable i equals to zero, while i is less than the app widget ids based on its length and iteration. We have to add one to each uh, uh, recursion. Okay. Now the during this uh, loop, the widget id will be equals to the app widget ids based on the counter variable i. So if we want to start an action on click, we do the next lines based on the intent. Okay. So if we want to start an activity on click, we do the following. We have to do this following, which the intent call on become the shutdown. There is a pending intent that gets its activity, the context, and also its intent. Now the remote is going to set the on click pending intent, getting the ID of button shutdown. We're going to set the general action to be performed which is calling from the widget shutdown class, which is the same class we're talking about. I'm going to set an action called restart. I'm going to retrieve a pending intent that will perform a broadcast in this widget. We'll get the broadcast. Uh, the remote is going to set an on-click pending intent. And the ID is going to uh, call on the button restart from the XML. All right. Uh, that, the same thing goes on for the screen off. It's going to get uh, activity, set the on-click pending intent, and also update the app widget appropriately. We have the enabled method and also the on receive method. Let's look at the shutdown uh, class. The shutdown class uh, extends activity, imported the window manager and the window, where we're going to set uh, the window feature to no title and also flag full screen for the window and uh, set the layout to the activity XML we're going to call the lock screen method. So let's look at what the lock screen method is going to do. Uh, this gets the window method and the layout parameters uh, by setting the uh, M window object to the get attributes. Okay. Now the screen brightness will be set and the attributes will be passing based on the object of the LP, which is the object we created from the window manager layout params. So if the LP screen brightness is equal to zero, this is a float uh, value, the runnable runner is going to reboot the, system, uh, the device, okay? And post delayed will be you know, up on the needs. All right, uh, we'll leave, I'll leave the three other classes for you to go through them yourself. But I'll explain the shutdown class and the widget shutdown class. So we'll be looking straight to the Android manifest. Let's look at uh, some permissions that were included. We have the hardware test and the wake lock uh, permissions. And also we set the receiver of the widget shutdown, uh, calling the, the Android name app widget update, and also its resource from the XML widget. This is very important. This receiver is very important. And we have, the, uh, we have to call on those activities being used, which is the restart, the shutdown, and the screen of uh, classes. You know, these are all included as an activity. Each activity has been called aside the main activity, which is the word, uh, the shutdown, uh, the widget shutdown uh, class, which is the main activity. Okay, I'll be launching this into my Android Studio where we're going to see how it's actually flow and how it actually work. Okay, so stay in tune with this. Uh, for one reason or the other, the emulator refuses to start up. Okay, I have the screenshot over here. Okay, there's a UI, there's the first page of the application. You know, you get to set uh, the widget from the uh, from the add screen menu where you click on your widget to actually add uh, the shutdown application as the desired widget in the home screen. Okay, once you add it up, it's, you might decide to place it in the home screen or place it somewhere. Uh, in your uh, in the front in the front end of the of the device so once you click on it you no know, it's going to shut down the device you know take full grip of this uh, application and get the source code from my github account build it up and test it on a real device thank you very very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time bye bye